Okay, time now is um 8.32 a.m. in the morning on April 18th. Yeah, so I slept from about 4.05 to 8.25. Um, so, yeah, that's four hours and 20 minutes. Um, last night was terrible. I don't know why, but it was fucking terrible. Um, I didn't watch the host. I didn't finish all the assignments, as in... I didn't complete the all the religion readings. Um, I didn't submit any job applications. I didn't edit a college update video. Um, there's so many things I didn't do. And yet I still slept at 4 fucking a.m. I just don't know why. I didn't finish the religion class readings um, for the book report because I already skimmed through five fucking chapters and I read through a lot of stuff in Revelations that I was just too exhausted and I was too mentally tired to read any more. It's enough. I don't know why is time moving so fast. Whenever I needed time to move slow, it moves fast. And once again, I slept at 4 a.m. Literally the second last week of the semester, and I'm still struggling. I've been struggling since week one. 15 fucking weeks, and I'm still struggling to sleep on time. Okay. So, today afternoon, I'm definitely going to go back to sleep. Re-sleep for a couple hours, maybe. Definitely. Um, and then tonight, hopefully, I fall asleep at 3 a.m. Which I say every single day, but come on. Please, seriously. I'm also happy to announce that I'll be able to sleep all the way on both Saturday and Sunday. Two days of sleep. Um, my roommate is cooking something at 8 something a.m. in the morning. That's impressive. But I am tired as fuck. And, um, I, yeah, I, I feel, oh my god, I'm gonna go. I have, uh, I don't have a lot of time left. Um... Yeah, I'm so fucking tired, Jesus Christ. Um, and it's crazy that this is the second last week, and after today and tomorrow, then the second last week is over, and then next week it's all done. I have so much homework to do, but hopefully it's gonna be, you know, great. Like, after next week, I can sleep. And then after next, next, next week... I'm actually done with the exams. I'm free, you know. Okay, time now is um 10, 11 p.m. Um, yeah, so, uh, fuck me. So, uh, let's talk about today just a wee bit. Um, I woke up four hours-ish of sleep. Four hours, 15 minutes-ish of sleep. It's really bad. I felt like shit. But, um, I, I took my cream puff with me. Again, like, I, I'm... Given the bus 38 is freaking out, I'm actually starting to be able to, you know, get the hang of 
the idea that bus 38 is freaking out and I'm, I'm beginning to know like when to leave and when to not leave. So I was able to catch the bus pretty efficiently by <coughs> fuck off. Oh, I just kicked my luggage wheel. Anyways, right. I took a cream puff with me um, and I brought it to campus and ate it as breakfast. And damn, that's a good ass cream puff. <laughs> and then the good thing is today for class, we're gonna watch Assassin 33 AD and um, the professor also brought us some snacks. So there will be more food coming. So I ate a cake donut, a couple like crunchy biscuit thing, like um, crescent shaped, um, like super crunchy sort of cinnamon bread. Um, and um, it's been a long time since I've had something like that. And some low sugar pink lemonade in the morning. I realize this, but I don't drink things in the morning. I only drink water, um, but the professor drinks Diet Coke. Which is interesting. But anyways, uh, we did the reading quiz thing. Thank God I was prepared for it. Um, and then we watched the film. And it was so bad, it's good. It's crap. And then we had a very lively discussion after that. We all talked and we all laughed. And even the, re the religion class in the last third of the course, it's starting to lose steam. Um, but today's class was really good because we all had fun, we all laughed, and I talked a couple times, and it's really cool. I even took a mandarin orange back home because the professor's like, ah, oh, I can't take it back home. Like, you guys can take it, you know. So I took one mandarin back home. So now I have two fruits in my fridge now. One apple, one mandarin. So that's great. Um, and then art history... That is when I started dozing off. Holy fuck, I was fighting for my life. And also, the AC is really cold. And today's lecture was really boring. It's not fun samurai shit anymore. It's a porcelains, and it's so boring. Um, I like porcelains, but damn. And I was dozing up, and the professor definitely noticed that. But there was one moment where I wanted to speak up to, one, engage in the class and participate, two... Um, to prove that I'm not asleep. <laughs> and it's it's a very minor moment and it's very forgettable. But for some reason it's bugging me. And that is the professor is showing this porcelain plate. And it has a bird in the middle. And the professor's like, guess what bird it is? And I'm like, is it a phoenix? And the professor laughed and is like, no, phoenix is not real. And I'm thinking, yeah, I know it's not real. But it's it's a drawing. You know, it could be, you know, it could be drawn. Uh, it turns out it's a peacock. Um, but Carter, the guy uh, who was, you know, went to the museum with me, he said peacock before I did, but the professors didn't hear him. Anyways, left, went back home, and I took a shower and I slept. Uh, I slept for maybe one and a half hours, woke up at around 5 p.m., and immediately made myself a sandwich that I've never made before. It's, I use leftover carne asada beef. Slice it up, and I had a tomato, also slice it up, two mozzarella cheese, butter, Trader Joe's white bread. It's an interesting lunch. Um, it tasted not so bad. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for today. And then I just spent 19 years editing my uh, mini movie review video. Yeah. And I'm going to make dinner now. Um... Yeah, still no news from ETC. I'm beginning to be a little worried because that went very well. I'm going to do a follow-up email asking it tomorrow morning. Or maybe I'll just ask tonight, you know. Um, and then I randomly submitted Cloud Busting, the short film, to this APCA film festival thing. Um, and I, it got uh, selected. Which is even less impressive than Cam's Fest. Cam's Fest was kind of competitive. This is way less competitive. I bet like five people submitted their short films. The thing is, I was just fucking around. I don't really want to go to the APCA meeting tomorrow night. Um, but now that my short film is submitted, I kind of have to go. 
And another thing is I randomly ran into an ad. Um, apparently there's this Benchy thing that UCLA film and TV program is organizing where they asked Japanese Benchy performers to perform uh, during silent films, which is really interesting. And I thought, oh my god, I actually wanted to go. Um, but I don't know, like... It's going to be like, I need to take a bus there, or a lift, or whatever. It's like, I don't know. Um, but, yeah, maybe I'll go, maybe I won't. But Friday night, they're doing one in downtown LA, and it's a page of madness. Which is fucking awesome. I want to, I want to see that silent film. And it's in Benchy performance so i mean come on it's got to be good as hell um yeah i don't know but regardless this sunday i'm definitely going to brain death studios to watch mishima life in four chapters yeah yeah that's pretty much it for today nothing all that interesting happened going you know, the fact that April is already halfway done is kind of scary because time just sort of flew by. I looked at the things I've done in April and I realized that 95% of everything I've done is also USC related. In in a sense, I'm actually trying my very best to immerse myself in the world of USC. You know, Rohan's short film, that's USC. Cam's Fest, that's USC. The friggin' uh college job fair that's usc also um like it's just a lot of usc shit you know i went to that silly apca presidential election meeting that's usc the hksa cringe fest that's usc um just a lot of usc related things um even the more interesting things like me playing with vr in the world building class reading all the religious texts from a religion class, um, the group project for art history, uh, going to Pacific Asian Museum um, for my art history class. Um, they're all USC related. The only thing that happened to me in April that is not USC related um, is the Victor's birthday party, which was interesting um, and going to church. But um yeah, I don't think I'll go to church for the next two months. Uh, I just want to sleep. Um, but yeah, 3 a.m. tonight. Please, God. Holy shit, please. Um, I probably will run out of time and not be able to finish all the homework I want to do today. It's fine, okay? I want to fucking sleep. So, um, yeah, that's that. I don't think I have anything else to add. Wow, okay. This is amazing. Time now is one o five um <clears throat> one o five p.m. on April nineteenth. Um, is it nineteenth? Yeah. And my hair looks like this. This is actually impressive. Wow. It looks like a. I don't know. It looks like a Lovecraftian creature. So I slept from 4.25 to 1 p.m. So you may ask, hold on, it's a Friday. What the fuck are you doing? Why did you wake up so late? You have a class at 10 a.m., right? Well, I skipped it. So last night... I I don't know what the fuck happened. Uh, I slept at 4.25. I, I just had a lot to do. Um, I ate dinner really late. And then I chilled for a little bit. And then I looked at the time. And it's already like 1.30. And I'm like, fuck. I still have a two hour film to watch. Um, so I ended up... Um, you know, I, I imported a bunch of videos from my phone to the laptop, which took a while, and then I watched the host, and then after finishing it, it's already 4 a.m. Um, and I thought to myself, okay, I can just skip class tomorrow, right? Like, 
you know, the thing is, these art history discussion classes, they add nothing to to my learning experience. Not not really. They don't add too much. It's fun sometimes. Like the Chinese calligraphy and the Japanese calligraphy classes are fun. But they really don't mean much. Like I'm not going to miss much. Second of all, it's it's like a lot of work just to go to one class. I'm going to lose sleep. I have to take my laptop out and come back home. I have to clean it. I come back home, I have to wash my hair and everything, like, it's a lot of work. I can save all of that work by not going out. So, I I still didn't know which one I want to do, what I want to do. Um, another thing is, like, so far this week I've been too sleep deprived. Like, Tuesday was fucking terrible. Yesterday was terrible. So, like... I can't do this again, right? I can't sleep deprive myself another day. So, fuck it. So I actually did wake up around 8, uh, 45, and I didn't feel bad. Like, I felt okay, but today's a good day to skip a class. So I thought to myself, well, fuck it, let me just skip it. So I've skipped it. So that's that. Um, yeah. Um, anyways, um, there's not a lot. Okay, I had a dream. I had one of the most beautiful dreams I've had in a long time. I invited a bunch of people from secondary school. To come back for a chat. And um. For like a dinner or something. And it literally includes everyone. Like Cedric, Natalie, Mary. Leia was there. I think Nick was there. It was a really good reunion. And for some reason I think I fell in love with Mary all over again. There's just something about Mary's presence. That's so alluring. And so mystical her beauty is so you know enchanting and i i spoke with her a little bit and speaking to her felt like speaking to um to a deity or something you know i was trying to be careful with my words and you know i still i loved her in the dream you know um, but I had a really long chat with Mary about like how she's doing. Also, another reason why we got together is to expose something, I think. Like, one of the students were being abused by the teacher, like, physically abused. Nothing too serious, but it was still really bad. And we want to, like, expose someone, but we didn't do that at the end. But, yeah, and then I had a very long chat with uh, Leia um, and looked at her, you know classes in uh, Hong Kong University and how weird and eccentric these classes are um yeah so um that's that and anyways today even though I'm not going out for my art history class I from an art history discussion I still um have to go out because of the silly little film festival thing so as i probably have mentioned last night my cloud busting short film is accepted in this apca film festival thing but i i only submitted my short film for fun like i didn't really plan to sub submit anything or anything like I, I was just messing around but my short film got submitted Maybe it's because only five people submitted something. So I kind of have to go now. So that's sad. About the Benchy thing. So yes, I'm going to miss the the uh, Page of Madness Benchy performance, which is tonight at 7.30 p.m. But that's okay, because the one tonight is, um, it costs like, I don't know how much, like, 
at least 15 to 25 dollars but if i go to westwood tomorrow it's free um yeah westwood is a far away place but you know i can spend some time on a bus it's fine um so uh yeah i think i think i'm gonna you know i think i'm gonna just go tomorrow night maybe because it's free and it's first come first serve and i don't need to buy a ticket or anything i have the power to think about going or not you know but uh yeah it would be a very nice experience though also I may still go to Trader Joe's today because I am running out of food again. My roommate's cooking. Um, I don't know what to have for lunch today, honestly. I already had a sandwich yesterday. I have instant noodles, but I don't want to keep eating them. So I need lunch. That's all I need, really. I have plenty of breakfast. I'm going to have cereal for breakfast. Um, but uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I'm glad I, I had a full night's sleep. That felt so nice. And the fact that tomorrow morning I may also have a full night's sleep. So fucking nice. Uh, and I think that's it. I don't think I have ever, anything else to say. Yeah. I'm like 15 minutes late. This is great. Fuck. 20. Oh, it's there. 26. 27. I do know you were. Um, yeah, so it's Randy. Um, for people who don't know, I'll the biggest earthquake, and my first earthquake mm -hmm. ever, just like hit, and um, it's not like the exact to the life adaptation right. of that, so it's helped in my friends, it's just eight, I have an AD, so I'm yeah. extra. Holy dokely, time now is uh, 9.34 p.m. Just came back home, I'm in my outside clothes, as you can probably tell. Um, so yeah, let's talk about today. So the great thing about today is I didn't go to school, I skipped school. Instead, I went to Trader Joe's, I walked all the way there, bought a bunch of shit, came home by taking a bus, thank God. So bus 38, when it's from school to home, it's much more accurate. Um, but anyways, came home, yay. Um, um, I had lunch, I watched an episode of Shogun, I, I edited a college video, and then time's up. I gotta go again. So I left. I took a lift. And apparently the film festival starts at 7 p.m. For some reason I thought it's 7.30 p.m. But then I was like, oh yeah, it's 7 p.m. It starts at 7 p.m. So at around 7.20 something, I was like, well, crap. I'm gonna be late as fuck. So I called a lift. And at first it's like, oh, it's just one passenger. Me. Great. And then the driver added someone, and then the driver added another person. And at some point, the car, it was supposed to go, it went into the campus. 
And it's supposed to leave the campus to drop someone off on the north side and then come back to drop me off. I told the driver, you can just drop me off here. And he's like, are you sure? And I'm like, yes. So I just left and I walked really fast. I walked past the SCA. I was on the, um, what side was it? The fucking the west side of the campus. I walked eastward and I entered W. WBP, Walter B. Phillips Hall, which is where the uh, Rossier School of Education is in. And I've been there uh, in the post-Oscars APCA meeting. I was there. Anyways, I went in there and I went to room B27, so basement room 27, and boom, there they are. And for some reason, unlike the last two APCA meetings, or not, not, no, no, no. Unlike the Ish Kese Cringe Fest, that is the Cantonese class, unlike um, unlike that, this is much more chill in my opinion. Um, I can still feel the sense that everyone in the room are just friends with each other, but maybe it's because it's a lecture hall where the seats are more far apart and it's in a dark room where everyone's kind of quiet. I felt much safer. Unlike camps fest this is much smaller and i cared so much more less I, and, and i'm tired so i sat down and i just laid back i just rested another thing is i was a little bit scared that my short film is over they screened it already turns out i was right on time i went in there and they were screening this short film some uh filipino american guy made a short film about tsunami but it is about the Japanese tsunami. But he filmed it on campus about a guy freaking out. Which is kind of interesting. Um, and then there's like a and a So there's a full-blown Q&A between this Korean-American girl. Her name is Kate. And the filmmaker in question. Which is very interesting. I wish there is one for Cam's Fest. I wish there is a Q&A session with Cam's Fest. Because there are a lot of things I can say about my short film. But no, I submitted cloud busting. Which is much worse. Even though it's already my second best short film. Because all the other ones are garbage. Um, so, um, well, or actually, Objects and Mirrors is my second best. But it's not out yet. You know, it's not released yet. Um, but anyways, after that, it's cloud busting. And here, here we are. Here we go. My short film is projected onto two screens. And also projected on another two TVs. So I can see a lot of cloud bustings and there are a couple moments where people laughed and i'm like why the fuck are you laughing it was small laughter it was like a chuckle um in, in the final scene which is like half the short film long but but in the final scene when um jim lao takes out the key and gives it to the main character it's like okay why are you laughing but some people like chuckled like what but overall people liked it i guess so there's a q and a and he's like, is Enoch here? And I stood up and I just sat on the seat and I'm like, here we go. But the good thing is I'm tired. Um, and I also don't care about the short film festival. So I just like, I was way more comfortable, which is great. So I sat down, I crossed my legs and this girl started interviewing me. Um, which is supposed to be like this huge thing. But, eh didn't feel that important and it's kind of crazy if something similar happened to me back in secondary school it's like the biggest thing ever but for some reason this felt like small and inconsequential to me so i sat down and she asked like oh great short film uh what are your influences and like and i said ingmar bergman and i also talked about how i came up with the idea and he's like oh um uh I forgot what he asked. He, she says she really likes the shot choices and like the back of the head. And I said, oh, that's actually another reference to another arts, artsy film from Japan in the 70s. And then he asked me what major I'm in and, you know, like, when did I make this? And I'm like, oh, I'm in cams. I made this two years ago, USC application, blah, 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 blah. Um, and um, audience questions. There is one guy who is clearly younger than me, and his name is Hugh, and he's half Vietnamese, half Hong Kong or American. And so he's interested. He's like, oh, you know, I really appreciate 
the Hong Kong style. Like, there are two shots in this short film that's filmed in Hong Kong. Did you film that? And I'm like, yeah. And he's like, oh, uh, did the temple sponsor you? And I'm like, no, I just walked in there. And people laughed. And, you know, because it, it says special thanks to this temple. And I'm like, and he's like, oh, is it sponsor? And I'm like, I'm, I'm just thanking them. And he's like, okay. Um, but yeah, it's great. And then we saw another short film, but there's no Q&A because the guy who made it wasn't here. So the ceremony just ends just like that. Great. Um, I feel way less embarrassed. I don't know why. I'm more embarrassed surrounded by Hong Kongers. I'm less embarrassed surrounded by Asian filmmakers, which I think is the type of group that I belong to right now, right? <laughs> it doesn't matter if it's Asian American, if it's a Korean American or Japanese American, half Japanese people or Chinese, Chinese American, as long as you're a filmmaker and you're Asian, you've passed the test and you can be my friend okay um and at the end they even gave out like these little mini oscar awards like these little plastic things like this is what i get i didn't get jack shit from cams fest and i get this so that's funny um but afterwards i i thought i'm not gonna gain anything from this film festival but i ended up gaining four new instagram followers that's right so immediately after that um, Kate, the uh, Korean American girl, she immediately somehow found my Instagram and followed me, like within two seconds after the Q&A. It's really impressive. I don't know how. And then there's a guy sitting in front of me. I think he's a Asian. He wears glasses and has long hair. And he's like, oh, you know, oh, are you in Cam's Fest? And I'm like, yeah. And he's like, and I, and I asked him, were you there? And he's like, no. And then he's like, oh, what's your Instagram? And I... Or more like he followed me on Instagram before I even, like, told him my Instagram. Like, he just found it. And then a little bit later, Hugh, the guy who apparently hosted this event, who is just a junior, he's clearly younger than me, he's probably 19 years old. He's undecided. He wanted to go into film production, but he's he's just undecided major. Doing GEs, you know. And he is close with this other guy who is also Asian American. They both followed me on Instagram. So it's great. And... At first, I thought someone I know would be here, right? Come on. Like, Cameron, the Chinese-American DP, or Catherine, the producer slash AD, I thought would be there. Maybe North would be there. Maybe Jake, the half-Japanese guy, would be there. Um, maybe Hunbin, the other Korean-American dude who I met in the Oscars, the post-Oscars APCA meeting, would be there. Um, I don't know. Maybe fucking uh, Jamie, the other Chinese-American girl, uh, the one who likes to do art, would be there. But no, nobody I knew showed up. It was kind of hectic in theory. But because I was so tired, I was like, oh. oh yeah, when I sat down on the chair, the first thing Kate, the Korean American girl, asked me was, I hadn't seen you around before. Like, and I was like, oh yeah, I was here at the first general meeting of APCA and the one after the Oscars. And it's like, oh. Um, but yeah, I ended up talking to them. We socialized a bit. We chatted, you know, basic things like, what's your major? Blah, 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 blah. Um, it appears my short film really impressed them. Like, just um, the Hong Kong element of it is just really attractive. Uh, so the Asian dude, his name is Calix. Um, it's weird. It's like Caleb Alex. Calix. And he was like, oh, is it like inspired by Wong Kar Wai? Like, and I'm like, yeah, sort of, but also no. Like, I'm trying to avoid being like Wong Kar Wai. He's like, yeah, I get it. I get it. Um... And I talked about production a little bit. Film production. So Kate, the Korean-American guy. Korean-American girl. She's... I should start, like, calling them in short, like, short handlers. Like, Korean-American, Koram, or something. Like, Latam is Latino-American, or Latino-American, right? Uh, Chinam, Chinam is, like, Chinese-American. Japam, like, Japanese-American, right? So the Koram girl, she's in film production. And I'm like, oh, congratulations, you know. And I, and I was like, oh, if there's any like 310 or 480, like, hey, you know. Um, but yeah. So that's that. Maybe it's a good idea to not do film production. Maybe it's not. I don't know. Either way, it doesn't really matter. 
It's all about the hustle, really. And again, like one amazing thing about film production majors is that you're really stuck with your cohort and you're one class, one class together, right? Um, but the thing is, you can't really do that in CTCS, in CAMS, because the classes are sort of like a mess. Um, you don't have cohorts, I guess. Whereas in, you know, in CTPR, you have cohorts. One thing I can do, if lucky, is to get into a 310, like mingle with the 310s, mingle with the 480s, and sort of like be involved in their shoots, and then mingle with the graduate film prods. I really want to do that. Um, um, Kate, the Korean-American girl, she said that she has a friend, Madeline, uh, who I think I've seen before, but I haven't spoken to. She's Taiwanese-American, and she's in cams, but she's basically a full-blown film prod student. So anyways, there's hope for me. And also it's great because the last APCA meeting with the presidential election, cringe, right? Also, the two guys who are elected as presidents or to be elected as presidents, only one of them showed up today. Um, and I didn't really speak to him or anything. But it's good. It's good that I'm meeting more people in APCA because I feel like I should be more involved next year. And by knowing them now, it gives me a good, you know, like, next year I can go in and I'll know more people. And another thing is, um, it's interesting how APCA, it's, it's so big that there are cliques within APCA, I feel like. Or it's just that it's so big that some people don't know, don't even know each other. Like, I told Kate about Rohan. Like, I was on Rohan short film. You know Rohan? And she's like, uh, no. They don't know Rohan, but okay but Rohan's clearly in the gang um but I guess not so I don't know it's like APCA is so big that even within APCA there are cliques and there are different you know not really cliques but like there's a spectrum of people some people know each other some people know a friend who knows a friend who knows another friend who is also in the same sort of APCA and that's just one film club out of so many film clubs. So that's kind of crazy. Um, but yeah. Um, at least I got four new Instagram followers. I think that's helpful. So maybe I'll run into them again in the APCA banquet. Who knows? But yeah, I took a bus back home. I called a lift, but the lift car didn't get in. Or, so didn't get into the campus. So yeah, I'm gonna go cook dinner now, right? Um, I'm going to go chicken breast. Yes. More chicken. Chicken pot pie for lunch, chicken breast for dinner. I'm going to do chicken breast. I'm going to do... Um, chopped salad kit. I don't have time to roast... Um, fucking... Brussels sprouts, I think. Do I? No, I don't. Um, yeah, chopped salad kit, chicken breast. I think I'll just have it with fucking, um, ravioli. And then tomorrow night I'll do rice, ground beef, and, um, yeah, I'll do, tomorrow night I'll do rice, ground beef, Brussels sprouts, and mushrooms. Sounds like a plan. I'll finish the ice cream tonight, I think. I haven't done any homework so far. Um, I'm gonna do it tonight. It's okay, not the end of the world. Also, it's the weekend, which means I have more time. Theoretically, of course. Um, but of course, I'm gonna allocate some of that time to sleeping because I do want to sleep. Um, but yeah. Also, tiny thing, the dishwasher in the kitchen is leaking water since last night and it created a giant pool Chinese guy in room one doesn't think that's an issue. He's wearing shoes. He's wearing sports shoes when he cooks anyways. So he's just stepping over the water and he's walking around making a humongous mess. Today during breakfast and lunch, I couldn't even touch the ground because it's basically a messy, dirty swimming pool. And he seems to be okay with it. So I requested maintenance. The maintenance guy immediately came today. 
so to fix it so hopefully that doesn't happen again even though it's happened twice already and then another thing is he brews soup great i love soup he pours the leftovers into the sink including giant red dates that shit clogs man giant red dates have seeds in the middle and that clogs the sink he doesn't seem to know that i told him to clean it and he he's like fine whatever and he flushed it down the sink but god damn god damn oh one more thing right um the vietnam professor for my ct the cs 300 she really liked my video essay the one i submitted as my first assignment she sent me and three other students an email saying you know i'm gonna put your essay um, as an example, as a model example on Blackboard, because you did a great job. Well done. Holy shit, I, do, I wasn't even trying. I spent two hours editing the essay. The video essay, I spent like two hours or three hours editing it. It's like easy peasy. Holy shit. So, you know, my short film, Getting Screening Cams Fest, this festival, and now this. I'm kind of overpowered, actually. I'm actually kind of powerful, like... If I keep up with this pace, and it's only the first semester, right? If I keep up with this pace, and I get better and better, and I meet more production students, and I make more short films, and I impress more professors, I go to Cannes next summer, like, you know, hey, give me a job. Enter me into a production company. Get me some gigs. Like, I I can go to places at the, at this pace, so... Hey, come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> All right. Um, <clears throat> damn, my voice is not crispy. Um, time now is uh, 12.26 after midnight, no, afternoon on April 20th. So, uh, yeah, I slept from 4.40 to like uh, 12. I I don't know why. Like um, yeah, I slept very late last night, which is bad. But hopefully, I fix it by tonight. Um, but it's weird because I actually naturally woke up around eleven. But the thing is, that's less than seven hours of sleep, which is kind of weird. If I naturally wake up, it's usually about eight and a half to nine hours of sleep. So I tried to force myself to sleep more. Because I have the freedom to do that. Unlike on other weekdays. Where I have to wake up. Um, But yeah. That's kind of weird. But anyways. Today's a Saturday. Which means I have nothing to do. Um, I've been doing some thinking. Now there's this awesome. Benchy thing that's happening. Right in Westwood. I really want to go. But I think. Okay, my hair. Jesus Christ. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. There's an awesome Benchy thing. I don't think I can go. Which is really sad because it's Benchy, it's history, but, you know, think. If I take a bus or take a metro all the way from here, USC to fucking Exposition Westwood, and then I take a bus to Westwood, that's going to take me about one and a half hours. I watch the show, which I think is going to be about two hours, and I Uber home or Lyft home. Not only will that cost money, but also that's going to cost me another half an hour. That's three hours. You know how much shit I can do in those three hours? You know? Last night, I, I was still struggling with the religion book. I'm reading chapter two and I'm still confused as fuck. I lost all interest <clears throat> and I need to finish the fucking book by Wednesday and I still have the fucking book report. So I, I don't know. I even look, looked at Reddit. I searched how to read faster because this is getting out of hand. I don't know how to read fast. I don't know how am I going to read a whole ass book. It's, it's really difficult for me to read words. Especially when those words are so confusing. I need to look up the meaning of words. Like almost every sentence. Because it's using all these vocab. And I'm struggling. Okay. 
I'm not used to reading, so I, I, I have no idea what to do. I'm going to try my best to finish chapters two and three today. And also, I didn't finish watching um, <clears throat> And Life Goes On, the Persian film. I watched the first 14 minutes, and I'm like, okay, I need to go to bed. So I'm going to watch that, plus the world of Kaneko tonight. Um, <clears throat> Damn, my voice is not crispy. What is this raspy spell I've been having in the last four months? Um, <clears throat> yeah. Um, so yeah, I, um, I'm not going to go outside today, I think. Yeah, I'm not going to go outside. I'm going to stay here the whole day. Tomorrow, I'm going out anyways to watch Mishima Life in Four Chapters, which I'm really excited about, but, um, but yeah. The next two weeks is going to be torture, because it's going to be a lot of exams, a lot of papers, book reports, a lot of projects, or whatever. Next two weeks is going to be torture, and then after that, I'm free. But uh, I just got to survive the next two weeks. Um, and yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. I don't know why. I dreamed that I was directing an actress, and that actress is Skylar from Breaking Bad. Um, and it was a late dream, as in, I dreamed this circa 11 a.m. or something. Um, yeah. So, I don't know. So when I woke up, it's like, oh, I'm back in L.A. in real life, you know, a little jarring. But, um, yeah, yesterday was nice. Last night was actually quite nice. I forgot to mention that after the film festival thing, I even helped them carry, like, um, a bundle of water bottles. Like I'm, like I'm a PA or something. Um, and clearly they're all friends with each other. I'm just there, like a, like a sore thumb. Like, I, I don't belong at all. But at the same time, it's... It's like they don't mind, and also they don't care. I'm just gonna help them carry something, you know? Who cares? Who fucking cares? And it's just like, yeah, you know, come to think of it. If I don't start from there, how do I even start, you know? And also, you gotta applaud me for being so out there in the first semester. It's only the first semester, but, you know, I'm submitting my short films to different festivals, I'm... You know, I'm, I'm going to job fairs, I'm emailing people, I'm trying really, really ridiculously hard to make connections. It's only the first fucking semester. Back in the community college days, I didn't even do that, right? And let's not mention the secondary school days where I can't even join another club or make a friend. But this semester, I'm doing it hardcore, you know, I'm hustling. So, uh... You know what? I'm, I'm, I'm doing my best, right? I'm doing my best. Um, yeah, I don't know. Some thoughts occurred to me last night about getting a girlfriend or whatever. And I hate thinking about those things because at this point I don't care anymore. But it is a bit, you know... Again, the idea that I've never had a girlfriend before is kind of crazy. And it's kind of sad too because back in, you know, if I was like 16 or 17, it's like, oh, you have a girlfriend? Ooh, but now it's like, oh, you know, normal human being activity, right? I want people to go, ooh, you know? I want people to react that to me, react like that. I want people to be impressed or proud or scared of me when I do have a girlfriend or if, I guess. But the thing is, people won't have this reaction anymore because suddenly we're mature enough. And that's sad. But then, in that case, I should just also move on with the times. And also, just like the people around me, I should also be like them in that I shouldn't care and be reactive to the idea of having a girlfriend. In fact, what's going to make people go, ooh, is when I 
you know, when I do something even more ridiculous than that. So I, I, so I strive to do that, actually. Also, last night, someone, some girl or some guy from Hong Kong watched all four of my short films. Like, Dreams of an Empty Street, Cloud Busting, My Bloody Valentine, and Love and Death. And on Letterboxd, and gave it a half star, a full star, a full star, and a half star. Which is insane. And then I looked at that person's profile, and most of the films they've seen are two stars and, like, like one star and half a star. Like, oh my god, he hates movies. Um... And even so, even though I shouldn't care about haters and stuff, but seeing that made me feel kind of bad. Like, if I see haters from America, I'm like, okay, sure, hate, hate all you want. But haters from Hong Kong just hit different. It just hits different. And suddenly I, I, I remember all these things, like, like, you know, back in secondary school, all the negative criticism, all the hate, all the, um, it's kind of sad because whatever I do, I can hear a voice telling me that that's bad or, or, or like insulting me. And it's always Natalie's voice. <laughs> sometimes it's like Bean Gang, sometimes Potato Gang, but mostly it's Natalie. Like, <clears throat> Dreams of an Empty Street. Yeah, it's a good short film. And then I would hear someone saying, oh, but actually it's... You're just an incel, and you're lonely, and you're just, you know, this film is just selfish and masturbatory, and it's for yourself, and it adds nothing. Okay, cloud busting. Oh, actually, the short film is, you're only thinking about yourself, it's such a mess, you're just pretending to be Ingmar Bergman, you don't have a style, you're so pretentious, and it's like, I just keep, I'm not hearing, hearing them, I'm just like, imagining oh that's what people will say and i guess that's residual self-hatred from the secondary school days but it's just oh my god what if they're right though what if i go out there i submit love and death to fucking can film festival and like they reject it i submitted to small festivals they also reject it because i really suck what if they're right you know I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna eat some waffles for breakfast. All right, time now is April 20th, uh, 7.56 p.m. Um, yeah, I'm finishing this video, finishing today early, um, as in I'm filming this video a little earlier. Um, but yeah, nothing happened today, and that's a good thing, you know? I think it's been a while since I've stayed at home the whole day. Actually, did I stay at home the whole day last Saturday as well? I think I did, did I? Hold on. Oh no, last Saturday I was um in Rohan short film. Right, so it's been a while. It's nice. Um, Nothing too crazy happened, honestly. Um, just a couple things that were surprising to me. Um, so CTCS 394, the worst class out of the five classes. I was checking, um, what score I got for my last paper, which is easily the toughest one to write. I expect myself to get a C. It's garbage. It's terrible. It took me forever to finish writing that paper. Um, and I was basically bullshitting my way through it. And holy balls, I got a 96 out of 100. It's insane. I, I don't know what, I don't know why. I don't know what's the rubric. Because this is easily the worst, the worst paper I've written. Hands down. I, I don't know why. Okay, look. Hold on. 96%. What in the actual fuck? A? What? So I, I don't know how did that happen. Maybe partially it's because 
I asked the TA for advice and the TA is like, do blowout. And I followed his advice. So he's like, yay, I don't know. But that's a, that's really good. I don't know if this means I can get an A for the course overall, but I have a little hope now. But holy shit, I didn't see that coming. Your best work is always the ones you don't expect to be the best. Okay. Um, another surprising thing is, so I spent a little time fixing my poster for Objects in the Mirror. And I finished it, I finalized it, I sent it to myself on Instagram, and I posted it, finally. And man, is it getting... Tons of likes. I think 28 people have liked it so far. It's been a couple hours, maybe three hours, but oh boy, the likes are pouring in, which is great. Mary is the second person to like it. First is Jonathan, then it's Mary, which is, you know, still cool. Linda liked it. The only person who didn't like it, but clearly saw it was Leslie, you know, but of course, fuck her, you know. Um, but yeah, this is, this is doing really well. And then a few people... So Glenn reposted it, and then, um, what else, what else, what else? Um, Rachel commented some fire emojis. Dane, for some reason, commented saying, oh, your poster looks really great. Heart eye emoji. Um, and then for some fucking reason, Drew, the teacher back in the community college, Drew commented saying, when can I see this? What? Drew, and then I checked. Turns out he does follow me on Instagram, and I must have forgotten, but he does. So that's pretty okay, you know. I'm going places, I guess. But um, yeah, that's something. I don't know why, but okay, my voice is a little better now. But earlier this, earlier today, when I did the Steel Ball Run review, my voice was just so raspy. It's terrible, and I was clearly. In an uncomfortable spot. Um, but yeah. Nothing else. I'm going to make rice. Um, um, ground beef. And some. Um, Brussels sprouts. For dinner. Um, I want to mix some mushrooms with the Brussels sprouts. But I've already had mushrooms this afternoon. But I'm probably just going to eat more of it. Um, and then I'll probably finish the day off with, um, I don't know, some biscuits or some mochi or whatever, you know. Um, so yeah, I still haven't done any homework. I'm going to do some now. I think I'm doing okay on productivity. My money that the previous community college is supposed to refund me, it's still in that stupid non-existent bank account. Where I can't withdraw money. Like, I don't know what the fuck am I supposed to do with that. It's so bad. Um, but, yeah. I also want to just draw. I don't know why. I feel like artsy people draw. I also feel like drawing is the best way for me to convey myself. I mean, short films are great. But they take time and they take a lot of effort. Draw is just me and a pen and a piece of paper. And that's all I need. Um... I want to draw. Um, and I guess that's it. I don't have anything else to add. Apparently the first episode of The Sympathizer will be screened at USC. So I'm going and it's free. So that's going to be interesting. And the Vietnam professor is going to be hosting a Q&A session with like a couple producers from that show. Um... But, yeah, if only Pak Tanuk would show up himself, am I right? Um, but, yeah, I'm going to see the Vietnam professor again. You know, more and more, I believe I have a chance of getting to Cannes next year. Like, that's my ultimate goal, honestly. That's one of my biggest goals, is to get to Cannes Film Festival next year. Um, but, yeah. I don't know. I was pretty discouraged last night when I saw my short films getting really low ratings. Even though the guy or, or the girl, I think it's a girl, it feels like a girl. I think whoever that person is, they they just rate most films they've seen very low. Maybe it's like a different rating system. Maybe half a star is like, I don't like it. One star is like, meh. 
uh, one and a half stars are like not bad, and then like two stars, two and a half, three, three and a half are like very, very detailed increments of, yeah, I like these films, but here's how detailed I like them, you know, like something like that. I, I don't know. But my films seems to be doing pretty well. Um, so, yeah, I guess that's, that's it. Mm -hmm. All right, time now is 1.21 p.m. on April 21st. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so um, I slept from 4.30 to 1 p.m. Uh, <laughs> holy shit, that is a big sleep. I feel rejuvenated, I feel great. But part of me, when I woke up, I, um, I looked at the clock and I see 1 p.m. I'm like, well, fuck. How am I going to sleep tonight? I think I'm going to take a couple sleeping pills tonight. Um, but yeah. I, last night? Um, yeah, it's interesting. Um, the Objects and Mirror poster release um, was really, really successful. Right now, it's already at 40-something likes. And uh, more and more people commented. Shane commented some fire emojis. Ariel commented saying gorgeous and it's important that Ariel commented because she's like You know a very important figure Which is crazy the fact that I have such an important figure part of my production. is actually kind of insane But you also have to realize that Ariel's rise to power um, is also Indirectly thanks to me, you know, if I hadn't scouted her as a PA she wouldn't be here today right um but partially, only partially, you know, she's a hustler. If I didn't scout her, she would have found another way. Um, and then this organization called Media Makers from my previous community college also commented. Um, and then uh, Naja reposted it on her Instagram story. Um, and Benny did that too. Um, and then Benny DM me saying that maybe let's not release this thing yet let's go through a festival run first. And I'm like, yeah, I agree. Which sucks, because I hoped that I would be able to release something in 20, you know, in 2024. But if I have to wait for a festival run, that's going to be like a whole year. So I can't really release it until 2025. But it's okay, because I already released like three short films last year. So why even bother, you know? Um. But yeah, it's good to know that it's gaining a lot of traction. I'm not sure. The thing is, this short film, it's like... It's very crowd-pleasing. I mean, it's weird. It's unorthodox. It's got weird religious moments. It's very Enoch. But also, um, I don't know. I want to make something even weirder. Even more out there. Even more experimental. Even more offensive. So, um, yeah, anyways. So, today... Um, it's gonna be hectic. I'm gonna try my extreme best to be as productive as possible because there's a lot to do in a very short amount of time. At around 7 p.m. later, which is in less than six hours, I need to go out. Um, the thing is, last night I didn't watch The World of Kanako. I'm gonna watch it today, like right now. Um, I also have a lot of homework assignments. It is only until last night... So, last night, fucking... So... I spent like two hours trying to figure out how to record Minecraft with OBS by making it like without lag, which is impossible. It's still lagging really hard and I don't fucking know why. When I first use this laptop and I use OBS to record Minecraft, it's perfectly fine. It's 100 and something frames per second. I don't know what the fuck's happening now. It's like 11 frames per second, 12 frames per second whenever I um, record Minecraft. I don't know what the fuck happened. And I, and I spent like two hours, I looked online how to make OBS less laggy, how to make Minecraft less laggy, allocate more RAM to Minecraft, um, 
run OBS as, as admin, change OBS settings, like all sorts of shit, but it's still lagging so bad. And this is supposed to be a new laptop and a gaming laptop. I don't know what the fuck is happening. I really have no idea what is happening. And it's not like I'm running out of storage or anything. I still have about 400 gigabytes left. So I, I don't know what's going on there, okay? It's a little infuriating. Um, I needed to screen record Minecraft for my world building homework, but I screen recorded it despite it being low frame rates, low as hell. Um, so there's that. Um, and then I spent an, another entire hour sort of um, reading the religious book. I think I'm starting to get the hang of how to read it, how to speed read it. I just read the first sentence. Of um, So every chapter has several sections. I read the first sentence of the section, and I skim through the rest, and I read the last sentence. And then I move on, you know, and I keep going and going and going. And it's also very, very important to keep in mind what the writer is trying to say. If you have a vague idea of what the writer is trying to say, then just go for it. And all at the same time, write notes so that... When I write the book report, I don't have to go back and forth and back and forth. I can just look at the notes and turn those notes into a nice, neatly packaged paragraph. And then I'm good. So, but if I do need help, there is one solution. I can text Ungi, the Korean American guy, who's like very serious about studying religion. I can text him for help. You know, I can always do that. But yeah, it's insane to think that within... The next four days, including today, I'm, I need to finish that fucking book. So uh, hopefully I know what to do. Um, and it's also very insane to think that within today and tomorrow, I need to finish the world building document. Um, <clears throat> so, um, man, my voice is not its really raspy again. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try my best. I think I'm getting there, though. I think I'm getting there. Um, but yeah, I have a lot to do today. I review the film, a couple movies to watch. It's going to take me about an hour to get to Brain Dead Studios. Apparently, that's not in downtown LA. Brain Dead Studios is actually in West Hollywood. What the fuck? So, it's going to take me about a whole hour to get there. I need to take two buses. But it's okay. Not the end of the world. I can listen to music, write script, whatever on the bus. And then I'm going to Uber home. Who cares? Right? It's Mishima. You know, who cares? Um, and then I'm going to get, get back home. And hopefully after I get back home, it'll probably be around 11.30ish. I don't have time for dinner. Um, I'll probably eat some snacks, you know. I'll eat the, the dinner before I go. And it'll be a small dinner too, you know. But um, <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. So that's that's the plan. Um, this is a Singaporean guy I met in Cam's Fest, Matthew. Yesterday I DM'd him saying, oh, when do you want to hang out? And he's like, oh, sure, how about next week? And I'm like, sure. Which is so fucking weird. It's like, I never do that, right? I just met this person. But like, who cares? I want connections, okay? Give me connections. So, I think I'm doing pretty well overall in terms of trying my extreme best to make friends and connections like you know the various encounters i have with abca and then you know camps fest and everything i'm really like full speed ahead you know um but yeah that's that's pretty much it that is pretty much it hope hopefully i sleep earlier tonight um, the thing is, I have to sleep early on Monday night, because Tuesday I'm waking up at 7.45, and that's the day I need to do a fucking presentation. So on Tuesday, I want to sleep for about five hours, and in order for that to happen, I need to go to bed at around 2.45, which is impossible. So let's just say three. If I can go to bed at three, that's already great. So, um, yeah.
this is um western something. Western metal roads. Okay, we are here. I'm going to be like 10 minutes late, but hopefully that's okay. Hopefully there's commercial break and everything. Fuck. This also doesn't look like a, a road where there would be a fucking theater, you know? It looks like a fucking highway. I feel like I'm in the middle of nowhere. Like I'm in the middle of a grid. This is really depressing. Where's the theater? Is that it? Is that it? There it is. Brain Dead Studios. p.m. I just came back home. I'm in my street clothes. I literally haven't done anything yet. I haven't washed my face, washed my hair. I haven't even taken a piss. I just came back home. Um, yeah, so, um, NIHT. Nothing interesting happened today, right? Spent most of today in my bedroom. Um, and it was basically, this is what I'd like to say, military schedule. It's because I'm following, I gave myself a list of things to do and I set myself, okay, by 3 p.m. I need to start watching the world of Kaneko. It's two hours long. It ends at 5. At 5 p.m. I do a little homework and then I make myself a quick dinner and then at uh, 6.50 I leave and then I do this and then I come back and I do that. So far it's been going pretty well, uh, which is insane it's insane that despite having a lot to do you know a lot of homework a lot of youtube shit i still managed to take four hours out of today to watch movies the world of kaneko is two hours long mishima is two hours long it took me a whole hour to get there i was late for like maybe eight nine minutes but i was right on time like maybe i missed the introduction by the host or whatever but uh the movie hasn't really started yet when i arrived like it's just started but it's just like white text on black background um so i got to watch the whole thing and it was fantastic it was truly amazing too much good cinema lately i've been seeing too too much good cinema lately um but yeah, and then a whole hour to get there, half an hour to get back with the Uber. Yes, I paid it, 25 bucks, tips included, but who fucking cares? It's the end of April. I'm going to live a little. And then on top of that, nine hours of sleep. So minus the time to sleep and watch movies and the, and you know, going to watch movies and coming back. That's nine plus 5.5. That's 14.5. One day, there's 24 hours in a day, minus 14.5, gives me about nine and a half hours. So, <laughs> yeah, I, I made lunch really fast today. I made a cheese rosemary ham sandwich, and I'm just so used to making that sandwich. I made it really fast. I also made dinner really fast. I cooked a chicken thigh. I didn't finish the dinner. I have half a chicken thigh. And like 10 strands of spaghetti left. I'm going to finish that later. Um, but it's crazy how efficient I've been today. I even filmed and edited a YouTube video. AS freaking AP. So it's a good thing that... So I want to go to bed at 3.30. That's my goal. Right now it's 10.44. So I'm going to go to the bathroom and take a shower real quick. Let's say I get out at 11.30. And let's say I take a shower again at 3 to go to bed at 3.30, right? That gives me about 
three and a half hours for me to only do homework and edit a college update video. Theoretically, I can do that. And also job applications, might as well, while we're at it, right? That should give me enough time to do some homework and, um, you know, call it a day. And if I'm able to finish all these things today, today would be the most efficient day, the most productive and efficient day I've had in months, which is impressive. I even had the time to write my script, Violent Femme. I finally finished the first part out of the three parts. Um, but yeah, but yeah. Um, I'm looking forward to creating more short films, honestly. I don't know why, but it seems like everyone's hyping up objects in Mirror. It's like a very huge deal. Like if Drew commented on it, the Media Makers organization commented on it. Tyler, earlier today, even reposted it, which is crazy. You didn't even work on my project since when? Like, I remember at the end of Film 32 when we were at the snooker, snooker place and Tyler taught me how to play snooker. And I was like a child, and I was like panicking. And then now we have this, like, about a couple years later, we have this. And it's like, whoa, what? Was it a couple of years later? Yeah, all more like one and a half years later. But yeah, like, damn. I've, I've come so far in life, honestly. Even though you know, I haven't had a girlfriend, I haven't lost my virginity, I haven't driven a car. But like, truth be told... I've accomplished much <laughs> um, in about two and a half years. I've accomplished much. Um, but, um, yeah. I'm going to meet Matthew, Matt, Matthew, the Singaporean dude, this Thursday afternoon. It's kind of crazy. And then Benny wants to meet me. Oh, let's talk and plan out, you know, film festivals and stuff. But, like... If there's one person I'm going to go to, to talk to about this, it would be Ariel. Because Ariel knows all the people. She knows all the connections. I don't even need to join film festivals in order to win one. Because Ariel can just pull strings. She's just that powerful. And that's how the film industry works. It's all about pulling strings. So, you know. But it's crazy that I still have people to meet and hang out and stuff. It's literally finals week. I'm dying, I'm swarmed with homework and shit, like, fuck, you know, but the good thing with Thursday is that by the time I've reached Thursday, I would have already completed the world building document and the religion book report, which means that two class out of five classes are down, and I have three left to handle, three, uh, which is CTCS 300 second assignment, that I have Plenty of time to finish. 394 paper, which is due this Wednesday. But I'm going to go late, maybe a couple days. It's okay. And then that the other one left would be Art History Finals, which is literally the exam. It's not a paper, so I don't really need to write anything. I just need to study. Which is much fucking easier, by the way. Like, papers and projects and book reports are a pain in the ass. But, like, if it's an exam... Well, then bring it on, you know. Um, but yeah, art history should be easy. CTCS 300 should be easy. Um, and then, um, yeah, what's the other one? I'm worried about next semester. I'm taking five classes, five big classes. At least this time around, you can say, oh, well, world building class is small. But like, even though I chose a very big topic to write about for my world building class, but like next semester, I'm going to be full to my belly. So uh, we'll see. But so far, so good today. So far, so good. Also, a small thing, but I think the Misal, the bald Mexican guy, is back. This afternoon, he moved back. I think. Um, and uh, I can tell because I heard him, but also I saw dried leaves on the ground. For some reason, like, he took a piece of the outside world, like, the nature, and just brought it in. And the dishwasher is still leaking, which is fantastic. So, <laughs> yeah. 
All right, time now is um 11:35 a.m. in the morning on April 22nd. Yeah. So um I slept from 4:10 to 11 and then I went back to sleep for like 20 more minutes. Shoot. Yeah, I can't sleep to I can't seem to sleep early. Um 410, fuck. Um, it's still very impressive, given that I've done almost everything I've planned to do yesterday. Um, including watching two whole movies. You know, on some days I even struggle to watch half a movie, you know. So, if I follow the military schedule of yesterday, but like, allocate more time on just homework, instead of, you know... YouTube stuff and movies. I think I'll make it. Um, but yeah, this is a lot, definitely. I ended up spending like two hours last night working on my world building project, uh, which is almost done. The document is almost done. The presentation is not done. I need to have it finished by tonight so that I can do the fucking presentation tomorrow. I still have no idea. How am I going to be able to fall asleep at 3 a.m. tonight? Maybe I'll need sleeping pills. But I also don't know if sleeping pills would affect how I would act in the morning. Like, if sleeping pills make me feel drowsy next morning, then I'd rather not take it. But that would kind of defeat the purpose, wouldn't it? Like, sleeping pills is to make you sort of, like, fall asleep earlier. Unless it's not. So... I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I just... Bad news, sad news. I just received email from ETC saying that I lost a job. That he cannot provide me with a letter since the position is already taken by someone else. So, well, fuck it. I'm just going to continue um, browsing Connect SC and applying for jobs and emailing people. And hopefully luck appears. Hopefully I get a summer job please a summer job and then yeah so i definitely need to do some job applications today um but yeah today uh, monday ctcs 300 um it's the last class of ctcs 300 actually so i don't have to go anywhere next monday <laughs> but the thing is this week is literally the last week of the semester um, which is kind of crazy. Um, okay, there's hair in my mouth. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. The entire spring semester just felt really fast. Even though I'm in a completely new environment that is USC. I just, I don't know, it's just everything felt extremely fast. Um, I was able to acclimate to this new environment really fast. And I'm just not doing a lot other than taking classes and... You know, some side club stuff, but, but yeah, that's disappointing, but oh well, life goes on. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, fuck, I don't know, I, the religion book is a fucking mind killer. Like, um, I'm gonna, I can barely finish one chapter in a day. But at this pace, I'm going to not be able to finish the book report in time. So I need to um, read two chapters a day from today onwards. Today, I need to do chapters four and five, tomorrow six and seven, and then Wednesday, chapter eight, and then I will need to write the book report, which is like how many pages? Seven pages. I'm going to finish them all in one day. <clears throat> yeah. So, I don't know. I really don't know. Um, but yeah, I look forward to finishing the book report and finishing, you know, the world building stuff. The world building class is fun. It would have been more fun if this was like the only class I have. And I would just dedicate an entire semester on researching like Chinese history. Like that would, now that would be sick. I just don't have the energy for that, unfortunately, because I have so many other classes. Um, but 
yeah, that's that's basically it. That's basically it. Yeah. And I still have CTCS394 paper. So silly. I hope I get an A though. If I get an A again, that sort of gives me hope that I'm going to get an A in a class overall. Um, yeah. But, um... Yeah, I think that's, that's it. That's all I really had to say. All right, time now is 9.44 p.m. Um, yeah, so, um, um, yeah, uh, NIHT, I guess. Nothing all that important happened today. Um, filmed the Taylor Swift video, took a bus, arrived right on time, had my final class of CTCS 300. Today, the professor played Dirty Computer. The whole music video, 40-something minutes long. And he played a section of it called Pink. And it's a song that's, like, super hypersexual. And the music video is full of, like, vaginas and pussies, like, euphemisms. And, like, sim sim like phallic objects. And, but then the song Pink is also inside the music video. And then he played the whole music video again. So we had to see that twice. Um, honestly, today is, like, the lamest and the weakest class. And I appreciate the professor for ending the course on a very light note where we don't really have to learn anything. But it's like, come on, that's just so boring. So throughout the entire class, I was just focusing on something else. Like, I was just, you know, doing my world building doc and everything. Um, yeah. And then I went back home. Before the class, and like, before I left... I went up to the professor and said, hey, thank you for the class. And I asked her if, and then she hugged me. And then I asked her, oh, are you going to teach like Asian whore? And she's like, oh, I don't know. So she's taking sabbatical next semester. So apparently that's happening. Um, and someone else is taking over as chair of um, undergrad cams. So, oh, I got a new professor to please, I guess. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's fine. It's cool. It's whatever. Um, but yeah, that's that. Um, I, uh, I don't know, came back home really fast. I ran to catch bus 38, came back home at around like 610, which is great. But for the next two hours, I was like, just dead tired because yesterday I was so, you know, I was on a military schedule yesterday. So today I'm like really tired, but that's bad because I have like shit to do. Um, I still haven't done any religion book reading but I have um I finished the world building doc I even called Thomas for like half an hour which is a little infuriating I hate wasting time and the fact that I still have to make a phone call with Thomas um for like half an hour to discuss his powerpoint presentation we just do tomorrow morning and then I'm like okay fine so I I sent my world building doc to Thomas so that Thomas can comment on my thing and the presentation for my doc is also tomorrow morning. So anyways, you know, there's that. Another somewhat infuriating minor infuriation, that's not a word, is with Michelle. Because after the Dune Part 2 screening, she owes me $11.25. And I've been asking her to pay me $11.25 for like weeks already. But the thing is, I hate asking friends for money. Because... It's like mean, but I have to because it's right, you know? And then like apparently, and then I asked her this and she's like, well, we agreed to pay equally, like 50-50. And I'm like, what? Since when? We never made that deal. And I scrolled back on Discord. Apparently we sort of did. More like she proposed it and I said, yeah. But I said, yeah, in response to something else. I didn't see that she typed that 50-50 deal thing. But even so, if we have to pay 50-50, the money doesn't add up. It still doesn't fucking add up. Okay? It still doesn't add up. Because I paid $52.5. $52.5. $52.5. $52.5. $52.5. $52.5. $52.5. $52.5. $52.5. $52.5. $52.5. $52.5. $52.5. $52.5. $52.5. $52.5. $52.5. $52.5. $52.5. $52.5.
52.5? Yeah, 52.5 for Dune Part 2. She paid, I don't know how much, but probably 30-something for the Johnny Rocket restaurant thing. Right? So I paid more than her. So, so that's already not 50-50. If we split the Johnny Rocket meal 50-50, even though when I ordered my cheese and bacon tater tots, it was like half the price of whatever she ordered, which is the chicken tenders meal, whatever. Fine, let's 50-50 that. You're still completely ignoring the fact that I paid for your Dune ticket. If you 50-50 the Johnny Rocket meal, fine. But how about the ticket? The math doesn't add up. And she's like, oh my god, oh my god. But I'm right though. But she's like, oh, I'll never ask you to buy a ticket for me ever again. As if I'm trying to scam her. But I'm not trying to scam her. I'm in the right. You know, I'm right on the money. I know I'm annoying, but I have to. Because I'm right. So, it's really annoying. Um, but yeah. I'll keep asking her to pay me. Um, but anyways. Um, I'm dying of hunger right now, actually. I don't really know what to eat. Codfish is best with fish, uh, best with rice, but... Um, I don't know. I also want to finish, like, some salad kit. Like, so I don't really know. I guess. I don't really. Not really. Um. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go cook dinner now. And then hopefully I finish, um, chapters four and five. Two fucking chapters of my religion textbook. Red hasn't responded yet. Um, the TA of 394 has responded, saying, sure, watch Chrome. So I'm gonna watch that tomorrow night. Um. But yeah, I'm very close to finishing the world building doc. Very close. Now, I finished the doc. I'm just close to finishing the presentation. After this presentation, I'm done with the class. So that's one down, four more to go. And there's a religion, which is, oh my god, it's a whole ass book. But hopefully I can sort of speed through that. Um, and uh, that's, that's pretty much it. I also ordered some stuff on Wii. So, so far, I... So far... I spent less than $1,000 this month, which is ridiculous. I mean, sure, I didn't pay rent because I already paid for it back in February, but like, ooh, goddamn, that's low. That's low as fuck. So this makes me wonder, maybe I should buy something to treat myself, maybe a Blu-ray or something, like Happy Together, or I don't know. I really want to get the um, Nisei Monogatari Blu-ray, but it's never going to be... Like, I feel like I'll never be able to buy it because it's always going to be above $300, which is just unbuyable, in my opinion. Like, I don't want to pay $300. Oh, also this morning, um, right after I woke up, I did job applications. I actually applied to a couple jobs, a museum job and another, like, health graphic design student health job, which is so stupid. Um, but I want that museum job. And in that museum job, in the Google form, it says work studies required but that's fucking bullshit your guy said we don't need work study your guy during the college job fair she said she said international students are able to work there it's just more paperwork i'm fine with more paperwork i want fucking money give me money now hire me please i'm a little bit pissed that the you know it's been three weeks in the making and the etc guy didn't hire me just fuck how am i supposed to get a social security number if I don't get a job. How am I supposed to get a job if I don't have a social security number? It's just paradoxical. This is a paradoxical scheme to, to scam us out of work. I need money. My family's selling our apartment and our car and I'm fucking broke. So fucking give me money, please. Just drop a bag of a million dollars and then I'll be happy. Just do that right now.